Actually, this week we're going to talk about the social determinants of health. Last week we talked about health equity, and we also mentioned things like our vital signs, or the minute-to-minute -minute way that we look at clues to see if a patient is healthy or if they're in poor health. So now, looking at our social determinants of health as our long-range vital signs, let's take another step back, review our vital signs, and be able to figure out maybe some ways as the complexity picks up as we put multiple different vital signs together. So with that, let's look at heart rate. And if the heart rate is elevated, there's a couple things that we have to think about. The first, of course, is an arrhythmia, or an abnormal rhythm of the heart, to where if it's so fast, there's certain ways that which it cannot function at its regular job, which is being a pump for our blood. As we added another complexity to that, with pumping also comes pressure. And so our blood pressure being elevated as well can make a couple of different things come to mind as what's going on as the problem. Our heart is still at the top. But we also think about things like early bleeding or pain that can come from hemorrhage or something that's super rare, like a pheochromocytoma or a tumor that sits on top of our kidneys and secretes molecules that can make our heart rate and blood pressure elevated. As we added another level of complexity, we can also have an increase in temperature. And with things like that, we think about maybe a drug being on board, like cocaine that can cause these constellation of symptoms or a unique presentation called toxidrome. And a toxidrome in this case is gonna be a bunch of different symptoms together that is very specific to a certain disease process. In this case, it could be Benadryl or something called an anticholinergic type drug that can make these symptoms work in a certain way. But that, we also can't remember or can't forget, in this case, the usual suspect like pneumonia or a UTI that can grow into things called sepsis where our body starts to actually shut down and brings these symptoms together. As we get even more complex though, we also think about our breathing and our respiratory rate, which we're gonna get into more. And that can also bring on, of course, sepsis still, but there's another constellation of symptoms that come together in something called a drug overdose. And in this case, aspirin can make it look like all these symptoms together as you see. So looking at our vital signs, we know things get super complex. As we get back to our long-range vital signs, know that what we see just right in front of us sometimes doesn't give us a full answer. We have to dig a little bit deeper. So let's answer some questions real quick and then we're gonna come back and really dig into these social determinants of health.